Heads up, guys. Thanks to our stupid representatives in the Congress and in the Senate and in the White House, passing these damn free trade bills, putting America at risk. This is a bigger risk than trying to take, uh, you know, their, uh, in their efforts for gun control. They'd spend time looking at what the hell's going on in America. We wouldn't be up against this shit right now. When you pass things like NAFTA and CAFTA and all those other free trade deals that take the jobs out of the United States of America, this kind of shit happens. If we got into a war, we have no steel mills left. China has them. They've been buying them up, shipping the stuff over there. The EPA is another thing that took jobs out of the United States. Cleaning up the air. Well, some things maybe you have to, but other things you could let go, and they didn't. So anyway, here we go. Here we go. And this is a this is a big thing. China has a global chokehold on medicine. They can shut down our pharmacies, hospitals, and months. And why? Because it's all done over there. Didn't know that. You think everything's being done in the United States of America? I mean, even these uh, electric companies, their transformers and stuff. They're, they're put together in China. They're not, they're not done here. Our steel mills, gone. Our candy companies, our uh, uh, vacuum cleaner companies, all of this stuff has gone overseas. They send the stuff overseas, and they send it back to the United States, and you're still paying the same amount of money, and you're not making any, but these people are getting rich. Okay, they could shut down America's health care system within months, given a one-party state global jail code on the manufacturing of medicine and medical supplies. <clears throat> if uh, this is our dangerous dependence on China's production of pharmaceutical and medical supplies, including an estimated 97% of all antibiotics, 80% of the active pharmaceutical ingredients needed to make domestic drug production. I want to zoom this in a little bit more. When you start depending on somebody else for something, you subcontract your life to somebody else. You're no longer in control. If China shuts the door on exports of medicine and ingredients to make them, Within a couple of months, our pharmacies would be empty. Our health care system would cease to function. That's how dependent we are. You know, most of the, the, the raw materials are made over there. If they go into, uh, you know, if they shut things down, you're screwed. Make the medicines you need for care, if you can't breathe, you're on a ventilator, fentanyl and propofol or something, Made in China. We depend on China for its raw materials. If they go into the shock, the epitrine and dopamine, we need to care for them. We depend on China. If they have bacterial infections, we depend on China for the antibiotics. Many of the over-the-counter supplements sold in the U.S. are partially manufactured in China. We can't even make vitamin C here anymore. It comes from China. I'll put a link to this, guys. You go check this out. This is what you get when you let representatives run the country that don't know what the living hell they're doing. They, they, they weren't making America great again, I'll tell you that. Somebody was looking to pad their pockets. The damn effing global economy can go to hell. We've got to look out for ourselves, not for somebody else. We can't be the policemen of the world. Wake up, people. Pull up your big girl panties and let's get America back to where it used to be. Not dependent on somebody else. You've got to be dependent on yourself. Independent. Independent of the world. Independent of the economy of the world. Not this shit that, uh, well, we're going to bring everybody down on an even platform. Go to hell. Thanks for watching. I'll put a link.